motorcycle stuntman who became bonded with the spirit of vengeance, Zarathos, after making a deal with the devil Mephisto to spare his surrogate father. With the power to control Hellfire and inflict pain on evil ones with his penance stare, Johnny seeks vengeance as Ghost Rider. Johnny possesses a portion of the medallion of power, which, when activated, allows him to actually transform into the Ghost Rider, which appears as a flaming skeleton dressed as a motorcyclist. While under this form, he has superhuman strength, speed, stamina, and durability. Now the common theme of the Ghost Rider is his motorcycle, which can travel faster than conventional vehicles and can perform almost Im oh, impossible feats, like driving up walls and across water. As the Ghost Rider, he has a heavy chain that's roughly 3 feet long and has magical abilities. Like the chain is able to separate into individual links, which can act independently and then later can regenerate and return to his hand. The chain can grow in length, is supernaturally strong, virtually unbreakable, and can transform into other weapons, like a spear. He also possesses complete control over Hellfire and Normal Fire, able to generate and project it in massive amounts and manipulate it any way he likes. His most powerful attack, though, is his Penance Stare. This is the ability to cause others to experience a level of pain equivalent to that which they have caused others as a result of illegal or immoral actions. When in close combat, he locks eyes with his opponent and makes them feel all the pain that they've ever inflicted on another person in their entire life. Now, Etrigan the Demon is one of the most notorious of Hell's demons. Etrigan's soul was merged with the body of a human man, Jason Blood, who calls upon the demon's terrifying power to fight the forces of darkness. Now, unlike Ghost Rider, where Johnny Blaze and Zarathos share the same body, but with Johnny Blaze being mostly in charge, Etrigan and Jason Blood literally switch places, with Etrigan coming to Earth and Jason going to Hell. Now, being a demon, it makes sense for Etrigan to possess demonic powers. He has insane superhuman strength, able to pin Wonder Woman down, and he's punched Superman from Earth to the moon before. He's punched Superman to the moon. He's extremely durable, is resistant to most forms of energy, and is basically immortal. All this combined makes him extremely difficult to kill. Etrigan has the ability to project Hellfire from any part of his body, although he usually only projects it out of his mouth and hands. He's also a very powerful sorcerer, able to hold his own against Merlin and Morgan Le Fay before him. He's been able to teleport, create mystic shields, project mystic bolts, and can even pull demonic spirits out of human bodies. However, while he's able to cast all these spells, he usually doesn't have the patience, so this probably won't be his go-to attack. So let's break this fight down. Now Ghost Rider's most powerful attack is his Penance Stare. But odds are, this won't work on Etrigan, since he's a demon. On the other hand, Etrigan's magic probably won't take Ghost Rider out, because he's been able to take on Doctor Strange before, and he is a much more powerful sorcerer than Etrigan. So now it comes down to a more hand-to-hand -hand battle. Both are able to manipulate Hellfire, so they kind of cancel each other out in that regard. Ghost Rider is strong, but Etrigan is so, so much stronger, able to hold his own against Superman and Wonder Woman. So who's more durable? Etrigan is nearly invincible, but he's a demon. He's, he has an organic body, which means he can bleed and he can be killed. On the other hand, Ghost Rider is just a flaming skeleton and has incredible regenerative abilities, meaning he can be ground down to bone power and then regenerate in seconds. However, Ghost Rider can be knocked out. Like when Hulk knocked him out, hell, even Venom has knocked him out before. So Etrigan, being as strong as Superman, can definitely knock out Ghost Rider. Or at least, Johnny Blaze controlled Ghost Rider. So that means that Etrigan, the demon, wins by KO. However, however, moments after Johnny Blaze gets knocked out, Zarathos takes complete control over Ghost Rider. Zarathos is so, so much more powerful. Easily taking on the Hulk. 
and he's beaten Galactus. Plus, it's said he has godlike powers. So, Ghost Rider possessed by Zarathos would decimate Etrigan. Well, hold on. What? That means they both win. Well, that, do, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, good. Tell you what. I'm going to leave it up to y'all to decide. Right now, there's a poll open on our brand new Danko Facebook page and Twitter page. So go over, vote in those polls, and whoever gets the most votes combined will be announced this battle's winner. And I'm going to announce it this Friday. So go over, vote, and yeah. Also, sound off in the comments, debate, all that fun stuff.